out there. Like, you just, you can't blow dry your hair and go. It just, it doesn't work. So much more effort when you have curly hair, unless you can actually wear your hair curly. I am not one of those people that can actually wear my hair curly because when I wear my hair curly, it's curly on this side, and it's frizzy on this side. It's not a good look, it's just not a good look. Hey YouTubers, I'm gonna show you how to achieve this mermaid look today. So if you would like to know how to get this particular look, go ahead and stay tuned and I'll show you just how I did it. Hey guys, I am doing a little more of an intense look today. I want to dive into my purple side because, you know, I love the purple. So today I'm going to be doing uh, this little eyeshadow palette, which I got in my latest Ipsy bag, and I haven't had a chance to really fool around with it yet, so we'll see how good the pigmentation is and what the quality of the powder is. Anyways, here goes nothing. So I'm kind of using this as like my base color. Um, I've already applied all my other makeup, and all I have left is my eyes, so hopefully I don't have a lot of fallout because that would suck. It's really just kind of a soft purple. I was envisioning it being much darker, but I think that it'll still end up being a pretty look. So I'm just using a dense brush, and I apologize if you guys can hear my kids screaming in the background. It is a snow day and they've been cooped up inside because they're also all sick and snotty and I was like, sorry guys, you're not gonna go freeze your little butts off outside when you're sick because we gotta get you over this whole sickness thing so you can get back into school when the snow days are finished. Uh, next I will be using a palette from Pacifica. Uh, it's got some pretty purples in there as well so I will be using this jewel tone purple. Just using that same fluffy brush I'm gonna put it just in the corners. Maybe, it's not showing up. Okay, so that purple's not showing up at all. I'm gonna hop over to my Magnifies Jewels Rock Edition by Rimmel, and I'm gonna be using this kind of teal green color right here and see if we can't get those colors to complement one another. So that blue pigment really took away a lot of the purple that I was hoping to go for. I wanted it to match my lipstick. Um, so I'm actually going to break into a third palette. See if I can't tie some of those purples back in. I'm going to break out my Academy of Color Nudes palette. I don't actually have a purple purple in here, but I do have this burgundy color here. And for whatever reason, when I first put it on, it looks very red. But as it sits and it oxidizes on my skin, it turns into a purple that is rather similar to my hair. Uh, and I like that about that. And I think it'll kind of help with the look that I'm going for. Next, I'm going to go in with a clean, fluffy brush, assuming I can find one. Just got like hair and powder all over me. It's attractive. Gosh, shedding like a dog. Always, always shedding. Always clean, dense, fluffy brush. This one's just a little bit smaller than the other one that I was using, and I'm gonna go in with that white um, at the top of my Academy of Color palette and take a little bit in the corner of my eyes just to brighten those up a little bit. Because the bridge of my nose is a little more prominent, I do like to bring that white up the bridge of my nose. And also a little at the arch of my eyebrow. Just really opens up the eye more. Clean up under those eyes a little bit because I did have a little bit of fallout. Fortunately, it doesn't seem to be like smudging under my eyes. That's always like a horrifying experience. I can't take that back. No, no sir. Next, I'm gonna go in with my Extra Intense Liquid Pencil Eyeliner by L'Oreal. 
and I'm going to just add it to my lower waterline. I like to extend it just a just a tiny tiny bit out the corner because it gives me a good starting point for my winged eyeliner. Last time I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. black liquid eyeliner and I'm going to hopefully spend just a few minutes giving myself a winged eyeliner look but you know it's a winged eyeliner look so who knows how long it's going to take. Alright, once my eyeliner is mostly even, because, you know, ain't nobody got time for completely even when you got kids downstairs doing science experiments, it just ain't gonna happen. So we're settling for mostly even. I'm gonna curl my eyelashes and apply falsies. So I have been wanting to try magnetic lashes. Has anyone else tried those yet? Let me know in the comments if they work well or if they don't work well, because I want to know. Alright guys, there you go. That's the final look. I hope that you enjoyed today's tutorial and don't forget to subscribe so you can view more of my content.